Hi, it's day 49 of 2021. So here's a thought. Whatever preoccupies your mind controls your life. I'll say that again. Whatever preoccupies your mind controls your life. And that's why some of us are paralyzed because uh, your thinking, your, your mind is, is, is on the wrong things and it paralyzes your action. William Temple, who was the Archbishop of Canterbury in the 20th century, he said this, your religion is based on what you do with your solitude. Whatever you do in your spare time, that's your true religion. And man, I was humbled last week. Uh, many of you may know that we started a support group uh, for those of us who are trying to live our 2021 word. We meet on Tuesdays over Zoom. And so I gave them an assignment last week to keep a time journal, to, to keep track of where they spend their time. And confessions happen. I confess that I discovered that in my spare time, most of my spare time was spent um, watching Criminal Minds. I'm on season, season 12. And many confess that Facebook or being on the phone, uh, also been watching other shows, was what robbed them of living their 2021 word. And so I hear excuses. Pastor, I don't have time. Pastor, I'm busy. No, you make time for what is important for you. But unfortunately, what we discovered is that we're spending time on things that are not important. And that's why Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 5 and 6, Paul gives us an, gives us, uh, an advice. He tells us, and, and forgive me today, the, the wind is, is blowing my pages. Romans chapter 8, verse 5 says, For those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. So whatever your mind is focused on is, is what's going to be done in your life. And that's why he continues, But those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So can I challenge us? Let's surrender our, our minds to Jesus Christ. Let's surrender our schedule to Jesus Christ. And let's be mindful of what we're doing in our spare time. Because again, your religion is really what you do in your solitude. And that's my thought as I'm once again outside because I'm moving. See you tomorrow. God bless.